Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will look at how do we create a simple rental tracker for landlords. And this is the template we'll be replicating today. So it's a very easy to follow template within Excel. So firstly, it kind of allows you to capture your gross income, so the rent you've received. There's a section for your expenses, and it also captures your net profit or net loss for each month, giving you a total in the end. There's also a section for comments, so you can kind of capture any key callouts. And we will also look at how do we create these three particular charts. So a pie chart, a bar chart, and a line graph, um, analyzing and breaking down all of the above information. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the video and let's have a look at how do we create this template in Excel. So I've opened up a blank Excel so we can get started on the tracker. So the first thing we want to do is enter the details of the property. So let's put property address here. And then you can put enter address here. And what we can do is we can do press this here merge and center. So that will kind of bring it nicely together. And then you can kind of pick whatever color you like. I just go with blue and select white there, increase the size. And then you probably also want to add in the date you receive the rent. So you can add the date of rent and it could be for example the tenth of every month of course this will vary person to person and again we could do the same thing here is merge and center just to bring it consistent as the other one and size up and then let's make it white perfect and then what we want to add running at the top is the dates so if we enter date here and then if you add in Jan 2022 for example and what you can literally do is drag this across and it should auto fill all the way to December so we've got our dates running from January to December um, for 2022 and again we can just format it by making it gray and making it bold and making it bigger and then maybe centering it as well and then what we want below that is the inflow so we'll start off by putting inflow here and this could be for example the gross income the rent we receive from our tenants so that again will obviously vary person to person but let's just put thousand pound to make it easy so that's thousand pound across each month and then what we want is the outflow so we can for example have the management fees which is what our estate agent or um, agent admin fees whatever they take that can go here then we've got for example mortgage interest because that is also a expense to the landlord we can put that there then we've got maintenance we can add that here and there could be other bills potentially so we've got all these added and again we can bring it to the center but again you can play around with that based on personal preference so i'm just going to copy some figures across i have from previous examples just to save a little bit of time so let's just pre-populate this with some random numbers so what we can do now is actually use this um, format paint brush here to replicate the formatting which is kind of a handy tool so let's go ahead and do that and let's just make this into a table so again it looks visually uh, pleasing and what I also want here is a total outflow row which kind of summarizes all my expenses what I'll do here is the formula equals sum open bracket and select all my expenses that will give me a summary of my total outflow for the month of january um, i will just ignore the error because it's interpreting whether to pick that up but i don't want thousand i just want the expenses and again i will just replicate that for every single month till december and then finally what i want as well to create is a net profit or a net loss position so I will just put profit slash loss and then I would go equals my gross income 
minus my total outflow. And there you go, I've got 150 for January. If I replicate it until December, that's giving me a month on month breakdown of my profit and loss. So that is the very basic um, fundamental of the um, template. But now we can make it a little bit easier on the eye. So what I'll do is I'll put outflow here. And I'll kind of color code it. So again, I can merge and center to kind of bring it together and use the center button here. So for the green flow, I want that to be green. So it's just easily easy to stand out. Make that bold. And then the outflow, I want that to be red. Again, let's make that bold. And what else do we want? I want this to be red as well. So I know it's a expense. And then I want this to be green because I have made a profit month on month. And let's make that bold and slightly bigger as well. And yeah, center it as well. Perfect. So now, as you can see, I have got a breakdown month on month of all my expenses, um, all my income and my net position of profit and loss as well. So that's the basic fundamental of the breakdowns. And then what I also want is a total column. So here I want a breakdown of the entire view. So again, I'll do some open bracket, copy across all the different months. So I've got 12,000 in revenue. And then what I simply need to do is drag it down. As you can see, I've got a view for every single month um, for totals. And then again, I would do the same for the profit. I just copy and paste. And again, that replicates it for that particular role as well. So again, in terms of formatting, I can just use this paintbrush to format it as per. So I want this to be red. And this can just be neutral colors in bold. That can be bold as well. Then I'll just center it and wrap it with a similar formatting. So there you go, guys. That's the basic so far of where I am in terms of my position. So it gives me a good high level summary of my profit and loss for each and every month in this year. And then what I also want to add is a comments section. So here I can easily add comments. And then, for example, let's say there were some electrical repairs. So I can put electrics, for example. Um, let's say in April there was fridge repairs. So I can put that here. And then again, I can wrap text it so it's not taking up too much space. And let's say we've got some garden maintenance. Again, wrap text and so on and so forth. So you can add different details and information based on whatever your requirements are. So what I've done here is I've gone ahead and neatened up the table. I've also changed the formatting to currency, which you can do by selecting on the cells and selecting this drop down and changing it from a number to a currency. So again, I've done that across the board. So it's all in currency format. So now what I want to do is I want to create those three different charts that I showed you earlier. The first one, first one I'd like to create is the pie chart, which shows a breakdown of the different expenses. So all you need to do is select your different expenses, hit control, and then select these totals, and then go on insert pie chart, and then select whichever one you prefer. I quite like this donut shape. So let's go ahead with that. And then we can actually format it a little bit more. So I will select the shape here, right click and format data series. And then what we can do is we can play around with the sizing. So let's go with 50%. That looks a little bit better, I feel. And then we can change the title as well to expenses breakdown. And then we can keep these as this is, and we can add data labels here as well. So add data labels. So you've got a breakdown, or if you prefer adding data callouts, you can do that as well by 
adding a call out. So whichever one you prefer, and then you can just move it to the side as such. There you go, one by one. There we go. And then we can delete that if you like. And then you've got there you have it, your expense breakdown for the entire year. So as you can see from this, mortgage interest was the highest expense, whereas maintenance was the lowest. Sorry, management fees was the lowest. So again, you can start to interpret interpret your information based on these different graphs. The other one I want to create is the net profit. So again, what I'll do for this is I want to show a breakdown month on month of how much profit I've made. I think the best way to show a breakdown or a trajectory is either a line graph or a bar chart. So let's go with the bar chart so I can show you how that works. So again, let's select the dates, hit control and select all of these as such. So I think I forgot to capture the date. So let's go with that again. So all of these then insert and then bar chart. Then as you can see, you've got your profit and loss for month on month across the year. So as you can see, August was the best month in terms of profit. The worst month was January. So again, you can start to easily interpret data um, just by looking at a chart. So you don't have to kind of look at the, the finer details if you don't need to. Um, so that's that's the net that's the net profit. The other thing I'd like to show um, and a useful graph would be the expense versus the profit in a line graph. So we can get a comparison in terms of how we are performing versus our expenses. So the best way to show this would be select your total outflow and then select your net profit. And then we can go on insert line graph and we can select this one here. So again, from this one, as you can see, um, the orange one is the profit and the blue is the expenses. But if you want to change the color, you can just select that right click and change that to let's say green because kind of green represents profit um, and then the outline we want that green as well and then you can change the blue to a red if you like just to make it again very very easy to understand that that is your expenses so again we can change the title to expenses expenses versus profit and again to be able to easily identify within this chart the breakdown or the flow of your expenses versus profits so i think ideally you want a bigger gap between the two but i mean as you can see that profit was low um, expenses were high to begin with then they kind of got back together profit exceeded and then eventually the expenses increased so now we're in a kind of neutral position in terms of the two but again you can chop and change this information to what fits you and you can kind of dissect this information, put it in different graphs and interpret it the way you want to. So there's no right and wrong here. Um, these are just different examples of what you can do with the simple format. So there you have it, guys. That's a very simple um, template for landlords to track your rental income, track your expenses and track your net profit when it comes to properties. And should you have multiple properties, you can simply copy and paste these sheets across for different properties. So this could be property one, one for now, and then you can do the same for different properties if you have a bigger portfolio. So I hope that's been useful guys, and thank you for watching. Until next time, take care and see you soon. Bye.